Welcome back to the tutorial world speedrun. This is a little challenge we're going to be doing. We're going to be seeing how fast we can speedrun the tutorial. You might be like, Toy Cat, how do you speedrun the tutorial? There is 12 music discs. We're going to be trying to get all 12 of them in as fast a time as possible. I've got a timer here. I'm aiming for roughly 20 minutes, which I think would be pretty good. And the rule is we can't break any blocks. And also, there's no creative, none of that. We're just doing this all survival, just placing blocks only, no breaking. It's going to be pretty fun. Let's start. So as soon as we cross the uh, tripwire, we start. And let's start with the first disc. It's very easy to find um, <laughs> where are we now it is and uh, it's kind of nice like that so the second thing we're going to do is deal with our hunger problem because when you start the tutorial you have you know like all the little hunger problems so we're going to get the, the you know the wheat as well as a bunch of food for us because this allows us to breed a horse so uh, this is very handy because we can just take this horse over here we can feed him the wheat and it improves our odds of actually you know uh, like getting on him first time and him yeah there we go love mode and now we just need to take the saddle okay wait as soon as it goes like this we need to take the saddle from over where the horses are and we can actually ride him and he's going to be our transportation method for the day. Even though he might not be much faster than, you know, like walking, I don't actually know if he will be or not yet, uh, it's still going to be a great way to increase the speed of the run. So let's uh, let's do this, shall we? So let's put, oh, the, yep, yep, yep. Thank you very much again. <laughs> so yeah, we're actually fighting against the tutorial as well as, you know, doing all the other things. And yeah, let's do this. So first thing we need to do, oh, it is a pretty good horse is head inside here. And the reason we're heading inside here is because we need to place a lot of blocks. And the easiest way to get a bunch of blocks is handily enough inside here. So we'll get sticky pistons uh, as well as redstone. I think three stacks should be more than enough for today. And yeah, that's that. So let's hop back on the horse and let's move over to the second music disc we need to get. Or the first one that wasn't just handed to us for free, basically. And that is actually going to require us to climb a tree. So this is the last music disc I actually found. It's, um, I think it's Stow or Stow, and uh, I was just not expecting it to be in the tutorial first village. I thought it'd be on the Mesa biome or somewhere really far out, but no, it actually was just up this little ladder right here in the clock tower. So you go and I don't know why I'm having problems like putting my crosshair on the chest. You go in there and you get Stow, very sneakily hidden, and it's music disc number two of 12. So we hop back on the horse. Oh, I guess we have to climb down the thing again, and we actually hop back on our horse, which will break our fall, hopefully. There we go. Uh, let's move on to music disc number three. So this is the one that requires us to place blocks, and is what makes it a viable rule, because you can see there is a Minecraft sign this sign, but actually inside that eight, there is a music disc. So if we just place a bunch of pistons going up like this, we'll be able to get up there. So uh, there's no real efficient way to make your way up in survival. I mean, if you're in creative and you do a music challenge, I don't know if that's you know, the, the best way to do it. But if you are, you fly it. But if you're in survival, you need to find a way to stack up. And given that the game gives you 64 sticky pistons, which I think is a little bit overkill, but I'm not complaining because it helps me out. Uh, <laughs> that Yeah, it's something like that. So we're going to also break that to make the water fall down. And then we're going to get to the A. We're going to stack ourselves up like three or four times. And boom, that is music disc number three. So we're two minutes, 30 seconds in, and we've already got three discs. I think that's pretty good if you ask me but yeah let's uh, oh move the horse a little bit let's move on to disc number four so that's three music discs just in this first little place but the rest of them are very spread out across the map so even though the first were done in two minutes 30 the last few ones are going to be a little bit longer than that so music disc number four i guess would be in this little weird water hole i don't know what it's meant to be um people call it different things like a water slide a whirlpool whatever you want to call it but uh yeah it's a weird little again i'm gonna call it a whirlpool for now weird little hole in the ground Hopefully my horse doesn't go in the water. And if you head inside here, you will find a music disc. And <laughs> again, this is one of the last ones I found, so I just wasn't expecting it. Like, the obvious locations are sometimes the least obvious ones. Uh, there's a reason the phrase hidden in plain sight is actually a pretty, uh, you know, big thing. Like, if you people don't look in plain sight. Like, if you're looking for, if, I was going to say if you're looking for your wallet, but you do actually do that. But if you're looking for, uh, you know, an escaped prisoner, you're not going to look inside his prison cell. So that's the best place to hide. Pro tip, if you're ever you're inside prison, hide inside your prison cell. No one expects it. Or I guess, assuming you've escaped. Like, if if he's a, you know, a prisoner that hasn't escaped, then of course you're going to look inside his cell. Which, uh, you know, I, I'm picturing as we're saying this, like the Shawshank Redemption, where the guy like made the tunnel out. And that's what I'd love to do if I was in prison. Not just to get out of prison, but just as a fun little hobby. Like, I feel like you'd go insane in prison, unless you're digging a tunnel to the outside. So, I I think I'd do it even, like, I, I'd tell them about it, say, look, you just, just let me have something, and you you know, you know can patch it up as soon as I'm done. I just want to have something to work towards, but maybe I'm bizarre in that way. Anyway, yeah, let's uh, head up into this building. The, this building is disc number five, but it also has a bed for us to sleep in. The bed is very handy because it means that, you know, the, the nighttime mobs, which will slow us down normally, can just not be an issue. So disc number five, very sneakily hidden. It's Milohi. This is one that even though I found on my first go, I didn't remember where I found it, so it took me a solid half an hour to go around and find it again. And yeah, there's also a bed somewhere around here, but I'm going to forget about it because I'm terrible. Okay, there we go. Bed. Sleep in the bed. 
make 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 the night go away and deal with tomorrow morning. So we're four minutes thirty in and four discs in, which is pretty good timing if you ask me. I'm gonna head to the fifth disc, which is surprisingly okay. We're gonna have to head down these stairs in a very clever way. Oh. That's the basement. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, the, the fifth disc is one that's surprisingly close. And this is one of my favorite bits of the tutorial world, just because we saw it before. And it's, you know, I associate this with uh, TU31 tutorial world hype. Uh, Catchlina says, uh, pull El Chapo and pay someone to do it for you. That's not a bad idea. Just pay someone to do everything for you, really. Um, <laughs> although, actually, if I'm paying someone to dig my tunnel, which isn't going to get me out, I don't know if that's too useful. But uh, yeah, this one, uh, you know, I associate with TU31 tutorial world hype thing. Oh, we need to... There's a creeper coming. I can feel it. I can sense it. Yep. <laughs> okay, so we're, we've dealt with that problem. We're actually going to alternate between uh, redstone and pistons. I don't know if this is actually faster than just nerd polling up. Well, evidently, if I mess it up, it's not. Uh, but still, it makes me feel like I'm doing a good thing. Anyway, we're here at the top now. Uh, that was very convenient, wasn't it? Uh, and we're going to get this. Although, again, I made the mistake. I made this mistake last time of uh, not working out a way down. So I'm going to have to take a very, very bizarre way. But that's 6 to 12 with just 5 minutes 37 on the clock. Very, very happy with that. So, yeah, we're going to have to work out a bizarre way down. Or, if we go up first, it'll make it easier for us to go down. Because if we go back over to here, and then we kind of climb down here, I think it makes life easier for ourselves. Because, <laughs> you know, there's these big walls to climb down. So as long as we don't take lethal damage, we're good. So we just place a block, like, there. And then, that didn't help us at all. And then there, and then there and then <laughs> we gotta like slowly scale the wall but downwards yeah like, is it scaling if you're going downwards i don't know either way we're just gonna take as little full damage as possible i realize we can eat on the horse so we'll just take the rest this is full damage not the best thing to do but oh creeper's still there so let's <laughs> let's avoid him on the path out shall we or we'll just go past straight past him whatever so now we're gonna eat some raw fish yeah i think raw fish followed by a bit of beef i don't know what my hunger bars like right now I guess we'll see when I start regenerating, and we'll welcome that. And next up, we're going to head over to the uh, the hedge maze. So the hedge maze, I'm going to do legitimately. I've decided in my ridiculous speed run thing, I'm going to make this a legit uh, hedge maze attempt. Wait, although we could do it on a horse, right? Can we? Can we? I don't think it's a good idea. Let's, let's not do it on the horse. So <laughs> let's run through this legitimately. Uh, if you want it to be fast, I mean, like that previous one, I'd say you could probably, you know, just brick over it. But I feel like that removes the fun of the hedge maze. The hedge mazes are something I have this... Uh, deep attachment to, and uh, I think they're pretty fun. So uh, I think it's right, and then it's up, and then it's left. Yeah, I've, I've, right, right up left, and then I forgot the last one. So we'll just, uh, we'll kind of wing it. Uh, we're still doing pretty good time right now. And I'm gonna read the chat while we're just running through blindly through this thing. Wow, these paths take a pretty long time, even when you go on the right one. Uh, it, feel, it feels like I've been walking forever. Um, but yeah, going back to the chat. So it doesn't have to make all consoles and PS suffer. Um, the, the thing, of, okay, so this is the logic behind um, also, I went the wrong way for sure here. It's up, not, not left. Uh, but yeah, basically, um, the thing, the reason behind, uh, you know, Sony releasing, you know, in North America so much later than everywhere else is they release it at the same time worldwide. But, but you know, when, when Xbox says same time worldwide, they mean if it's 3 a.m. in the US, it's 8 a.m. in the UK, same time. Whereas Sony wants to release it at, let's make up a time, like 7 a.m. everywhere. Because 7 a.m. is when, you know, they think the best time to play updates is. And, you know, even though their system isn't the best, it does have logic behind it. It's not just them, like, Ooh, what can, you know, what can we do to be evil today? Uh, let's make all the PlayStation players suffer. Rah! That's I don't think that's what they're doing. I mean, I don't think it's what they're doing. It, they could be doing it behind the scenes, I'm sure. Okay, so this is not the way. This is a dead end. Oh, no, there we go. We found the way around. And now we're going around the outside. So, yeah, generally speaking, because uh, how was your day, Toycat? Uh, my day was been pretty good so far. Um, I'd say so anyway. Um... I, I've been playing a lot of TU31. Oh, I, I got myself stuck in the loop again. <laughs> again, I, I'm making a lot of uh, repeatable mistakes here. Either way, if we just get this 20 minutes, it'll be good. And there we go. That is 11. So that's actually 7, which rhymes with 11, which is uh, kind of nice. And we're just going to, you know, run out there. Because we did it legitimately to get in. I think we deserve to do it less than legitimately to get out. And uh, let's move on to number 8. So number 8 is a really cool music disc because there's a whole, like obstacle course you have to do to get there um but obviously we're not gonna be doing oh wow yeah the, the speed on this horse is very um jolty like it's going fast and it's going slow and then it's going fast i mean i'll take it because i'll take far oh, like sometimes fast over never fast but it's still a little bizarre if you ask me oh he, he jumps amazingly high too that it maybe i could do parkour on a horse uh, if horses could climb ladders which actually i've never tested they cannot climb ladders uh then life would be quite a bit easier wouldn't it so yeah there's a um there's a ladder over here somewhere I think, oh, jeez, this is making us go slow. Wait, wait, can horses bounce on... 
Ah, oh, they can bounce a little bit, not too much. Yeah, there's a ladder just over here somewhere. <laughs> I waste a few seconds on the speedrun to bounce on that, because, you know, you got to do that. So this ladder is going to take us to the last music disc, then we're going to head back here. So always eat on ladders, because it saves you the, the valuable time. Um, yeah, like I said, this is a really cool obstacle course. I don't know if it's, like, based on anything uh, in real life or if it's just a fun parkour, but I, I like a little bit of parkour, because it's the parkour... That's not so easy you do it like blind, but it's parkour that you think about a little bit and then you don't fail. And because we're so high from the trees, you know that when you do fail, it means a lot. So uh, I, I can talk about parkour and what's good and bad all day, but I'll just say I like that. Really, what I think what most people like in parkour and the reason it's so tricky to do is because everyone's parkour they can do, but the other people cannot. They don't want it to feel easy. Oh, we're meant to go up here. They don't want it to feel, feel easy, but they don't want it to be so hard that they can't do it. And everyone has a different level of parkour, and that's why it's tricky. And on the console, I'd say I probably have my best parkour skills, but it's still not that good. Well, actually, uh, have you, if you've ever played, uh, if you've ever done parkour on the Pocket Edition, it's so challenging because, you know, it's, just, it's semi ridiculous. It's semi ridiculous. Oh, my, I don't know what even happened there. My sprint didn't activate. My, it was my sprint. So let's try this again, but let's uh, actually. Okay, there we go. And boom, we at, we're up here at the top, and there is music disc number eight, which is far. We've come so far, and that's so far. I don't think that's how the lyrics go. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> there we go. I got that back on track. So there's our horse over there. I want to do a big jump and break the fall on the horse because it doesn't hurt him at all. Uh, but to be safe, we'll follow. You know, yeah, we'll just do this. Try to take as little falling as possible. And there we go. Boom. Straight on the horse we go. And to the north, we're going to head. So next up, we're going to head to the TU14 tutorial world, which if you're not familiar. Okay, there we go. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, they took the world it was either t12 or t14 they, uh, the tutorial world they, they just made a brand new one and then they kind of lost it with t19 they brought it back as a like one part of this bigger world and i think the cool thing about this is the fact that it really does show how much smaller the world used to be like this world is massive it fills the entire map i mean i don't have a map to show you right now but once my phone's ringing so i have to reject that uh but yeah it, it fills the map and that's cool so we need to scale this mountain now and i don't know if there's a correct way to do that if we go through the caves is the no? It's not through the cave. So we're just gonna we're just gonna use the horse as a little jumping technique. Okay, let's do this. So uh, I'm keeping my timer up. My 11 minutes right now. We're still very much on track. Yeah, this is wow. Horses horses plus mountains equals win. Uh, as it turns out, and uh, we're gonna be much faster than last time where we weren't too sure what's going on. And yeah, it's gonna be great. Um, which edition are you on? Says Dark Magician BC. I'm on the good question. I'm on the Xbox One right now. One sec. Um, I'm on the Xbox One version of the game right now because uh, that's that's just where I am and stuff. Uh, and um, I, I think I've been playing most of the Xbox One today. Just yeah, I, I, I don't even know if I have a reason. It's just like, yeah, let's just play on this. Why not? So we're still on the horse. I think we might have to dismount here. Oh, okay, we're trapped. So this might be goodbye time for the horse because it might be slower than it is fast to actually keep on. We'll see how that develops. Either way, disc number nine? Yeah, it was over here. Number 10 is up next. So number 10 is a tricky one. It actually killed us on our first attempt at this. So we're going to take it extra slow so it doesn't kill us this time. As soon as we get out of here. Which is going to be a bit of a mess, I think. Oh no, there we go. We're going fine just towards number 10. So number 10 is the easiest one in terms of finding it. But uh, apparently, uh, you know, if, you, if you're if worried about that, then it's going to be scary. So Pink Puss says Detective Toy Cat for the win. Detective Toy Cat for the win. We've gone from, you know, looking for clues to chasing the suspects. You know, there's 12 murder suspects. That's what discs are. You know, the discs... Uh, to be fair, I, you could use a mu uh, to be fair, you could use a music disc as a weapon because you know it's, look how sharp the edges are on a uh, eleven. This isn't eleven at all. It looks like eleven. It's it's like a non-broken eleven. But have you seen how sharp eleven is? Like that could kill a man. And you know I found the murder weapon. Just gotta find the murder person. <laughs> the murder person. Yeah, that's that's probably the correct term. Sounds about right if you ask me. Um, I played T31, it's awesome. If you have Minecraft PS or Xbox, try out, so good. Um, yeah, I agree, it, it is good. I, I don't think anyone's looked, gone around like, oh, this update sucks, I prefer TU19. And if there is, then, you know, they're, they're wrong. I mean, <laughs> usually I like to say, oh, see, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm bad at this. I'm not even sure why. I did that whole little, you know, obstacle course that was above a massive, like, full. And I was like, yeah, this is easy. But as soon as we don't have a full, it gets tricky. So the trick here is because there's stairs, you have to kind of go on the right side of the block because otherwise you'll hit it and you'll fall. But then, at the last moment, this is what killed us last time, so we're going to be extra careful. At the last moment, you've got to kind of go into the edge, but you've got to do it at a slightly funny angle. So, let's see if we can do this. Yes, we can. And then over, there we go. And boom. There's uh, the, I think this is meant to be an organ or whatever. But it also has Ward, music number 10. 
So we're 40 minutes in, the last two in the ne next five minutes is entirely possible. Let's just fall down, make it one block less full, and let's go get our horse again. And we have to run for a creeper to do that, apparently. So, <laughs> hey, howdy there, creeper. Wanna blow up the church? You're welcome. That's, that's something you can do. So, moving on, uh, number 11 is actually inside the red sandstone castle. So, the red sandstone castle is gonna be the biggest troll I've ever, you know, fallen for in anything, because uh, basically it's, you know, a big castle full of different, you know, paths you can take. And the key path is it's like the most obvious one, except it's then hidden on the most obvious one. So you're looking around every single one of them, and then you realize, oh, it's right there. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Uh, <laughs> also, I think the Minecraft sign might might have a leakage problem. You know, so someone should go fix that. Someone should go fix that. I, I, I think whoever did that's probably a bit of a, a vagabond. Vag vagabond? I don't know how you pronounce that word. Uh, but yeah, um, hi, good the update, <laughs> says uh, Chloe Turner. Uh, you know, I th that might not be grammatically correct, but I agree with the sentiment. So can't you like bananas, says uh, Jesse Van Baron. Uh, I do like bananas a little bit. I so, Like, they have to be just the right ripeness. Like, if they're too hard, it's like, oh, And if they're too soft, then it's like this mushy eating. There's a right softness for bananas, then they're good. And I can never find it, so I just say I don't generally like them. So here is a red sandstone, red sandstone castle. We're actually not going to sleep for the rest of this because, you know, no time to sleep. We've got music just to be finding. This one was very sneaky. Um, also, it's not influenced by gravity. Oh, wait. Is it not? Oh, because they like normal. I, I get what it's saying. So um, we're going to find this chest. Like I said, it's in a very devious place that I've apparently forgotten. Yeah, you go up here, and then there's a chest. Boom, it's it's very, very, very sneaky. Because you're looking around, you're like, oh, where is it? But you've got to go back, and it's up there. And that, that that threw me off, I'll be honest. So next up, we've got disc number 11. We've got four minutes to do it to be our 20-minute target. But how long will it take is the question. Uh, we're just going to throw our, our horse into the sea because it's best to do that. Oh, wait, if we go along the cliff, we'll save him. Okay, so disc number um, 12 is probably the most devious one. Because, you know, you expect it to be in the lighthouse, and then you look around the lighthouse, and it's, like, not there. So you check the mountain, and there's, like, a pathway leading to the mountain, and it's not there, and it's there. It's just crazy. So, Toy Cat never sleeps, says the parrot. Uh, Toy Cat sometimes sleeps. Just, um, you know, no one updates around. I've got, I've got things to be doing. <laughs> um, and that's the reasoning there. Um, what is your favorite color, says Ollie Proctor. Uh, my favorite color... Tricky question. I think it's blue, but I, you know, I, I don't know if I have a favorite. I just say blue. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, so we're going to have to probably mountaineer up this thing. So yeah, this is what you have to do. You have to take a boat over to this weird little thing here. You have to scale the mountain, which at night time is going to be tricky, but we'll make this easy. Just stack ourselves up uh, over and over again. Gets to the top. And then there's a secret little cave. And there's a lot of caves like this around the map that mean nothing. But this particular cave over here actually means something very special because what it means is chirp and it's a trap chest oh does that mean it sets something off let's check it might just be a trap chest for no reason but let's just quickly check oh well, let's stop the time so that is 17 minutes 20 seconds and as of that wait okay there's nothing attached i was gonna say like was there anything as of 17 minutes and 20 seconds we beat the tutorial world we did a speed run uh you know, people people said you couldn't speedrun the tutorial world, but we proved them wrong. <laughs> and I hope you did all enjoy it. Like I said, I'm, I'm glad you all amused me in my, uh, you know, like, my ridiculous, like, I'm going to do this thing. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much all for coming along. You saw history here. Uh, when the MLG circuit for um, speedrunning the tutorial world uh, starts up, you'll all be at the forefront or something like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you did all enjoy your time here. Uh, 